Hi! Okay, so I found this subject very interesting. This is why I continue with the supercapacitors and I want to show you this. So basically, uh, this is a board with six supercapacitors that I bought, I don't remember, I think from eBay. And you can see these are 2.7 volt, 500 micro, and they are in serial. So the disadvantage, there are two disadvantages. That first, the internal impedance, because they are in serial, each one of them is supposed to be one milliohms. So if they are in parallel, we take the resistance and we divide by the number of capacitor but this is since this is serial so we add them uh, six times uh, one million should be uh, six million another disadvantage is that the capacitance when you connect them in serial is divided so the total capacitance should be 500 divided by six which is a little less than 100 yes uh, let's calculate so 500 divided by 6 this is 83 uh, for what? the total capacitance but the advantage let's say one advantage is that the total voltage is increasing so I have 2.7 multiplied by 6 so 2.7 multiplied by 6 we have 16.2 volts now I want to do a few uh, measurements in order to make sure ah, one more thing about this board is that it has advantage over the other that you see that each capacitor has a circuit that will protect the capacitor and make sure that it will not be over 2.7 volts because I remind that if you go over 2.7 so you may ruin the capacitors because you are out of its limits so few things I want to make sure that all of them are connected in serial I'm almost sure but let's check yes as you can see the minus of the first is connected to the plus of the second and so on so they're all in serial the total voltage as you can see is the uh, plus here and the minus here uh, the board I think it's it's a little limited because PCB may not let's say uh, get out for example 500 amps uh, what I would do I would add uh, wires between uh, these capacitors beside the short on the board because I think it is not enough for very high current for example if you want to use it for uh, welders so next thing I want to check is uh, the internal impedance we'll use the very accurate uh, SM8124 A I don't remember the exact accurate but it's Till about 1 million accuracy so to make sure I will take total metal and see uh, what is let's say the zero point because the zero I'm not sure that it will not be totally zero so I will put them as close as I can and probably this metal is not good enough it's not conductive enough because I don't know what metal it is so how can I do a better short uh, to see what is my zero point I will find something in a second maybe we'll take this can okay I will also try to put one over the other as you can see it's not really zero this is the minimum number that I can get it's a little tricky I could see one million did you see it? 
Ah, I have another idea. Maybe we'll check it over the lid of battery. So I think this will be uh, pretty accurate on these metals here. Aha! I want you to see over the camera. Okay, so have a look. We have let's say 1 million, 1.2 million. This is the minimum that I get with total short because I want to take it as a reference and to know the exact number that I see when measuring. So we have to decrease for the number 1.2. So now let's check. So if we get 2.4, so we will subtract 1.2, so 1.2 million. Let's see if this is cons consist over all of them. Yes, you can say that probably these capacitors are really about 1 million. Another thing that I want to check is the real capacitance. I've already shown in the previous video how to make sure because I am not familiar with such an instrument that can measure such a low capacitance what I'm going to do is actually measure the time uh, till it rises from uh, 1 volt from 0 volt sorry to uh, to 63 percent of 2.7 this is already we checked it it is 1.7 so we take 2.7 and multiply it by 63 percent and we get 1.7 so i'm checking till it reach 1.7 volts with a known resistor that will charge it and then the time in seconds divide by a uh, 3.7 we already measured this in the previous video it is not 3.9 it's still it's a little less i will show again the dvm now now it shows 3.9 okay so we need to divide the number let's see that we have a zero haha <laughs> we have if i'm doing a short so it is not totally zero it's a uh, 0.1 okay so 3.8 let's say this is the real capacitance what i'm going to do is to connect the dvm charge it wait with a timer till it gets uh, to 1.7 volts and the number of seconds divided by 3.8 is the real capacitance i will check of course one of the capacitor no need to check all of them so checking only one and then we'll see the results so keep tuned